Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video series I will show you how you can work with all the Elementor Pro elements. In this video we will take a look at the Forms element. If you want to get Elementor Pro then click on the link below in the description. And if you buy Elementor Pro through my affiliate link, you don't pay more, but I get a commission, so thank you for that. If you want to see the result of all the Elementor Pro elements, then go to elementor2018.com and go to the page Elementor Pro. Here I will show you all the elements. So let's get started. Let's take a look at forms. So over here, you see a form. I add a new section with one area and I drag the form over here. This looks really ugly. So let's style this. I call this get in contact. And here we have the name with the content. It's a text type. The label is name, the placeholder, the area within the form field is name. You can change it first and last name. You can say if it is required. And here we have the column width of a form field. If I change it to 50, you see nothing. But if I go to email and I go to 50, they will be in one line. I go to message. It's a text area. If I remove the label, it will be gone. So I will remove all the labels. I really don't like this way of displaying this form. So let's see if I can do something about it. I could say 50. And over here, item two, I can say 100. So it looks like that. So it looks already a lot better. We can add new items. For instance, a phone number. Phone number. I can drag it here on top of the message. Input size. We can change it. I like it to be small. We don't want to show the labels. That's also a way to get rid of them. The submit button, we can say submit. I like it small. Column width default to the left. And it's now a small button like that. So you can also have it in the middle or you can have one that's 100% of the width. I like this one. We can have an icon. We can have it after the submit text or before. We can have some space between it. We can add actions, for instance, uh, redirect them to a certain page. Here's something about the email. Where does the email need to be sent to? What is the email subject? And what should be contained in this email? Well, all fields, so that's great. So also the phone number will be seen in the email I will receive when somebody sends me an email. From which email address does it need to be sent if you respond or give a confirmation email? From the name for the corpus hook and reply to email field, which is this field. What other information do you want to get from this form? And it's all okay. If you click over here, you can select something. Send us HTML, additional options, mm -hmm custom message. You can say the form was sent successfully or something went wrong and you can change all those messages if you want to. Go to style, column gaps. You see nothing changes because it has to do with two columns next to each other and we don't have that. We have row gaps. We can change the text color of the field. I like it. The background color of the field. So if I would say red, it's red. I will make it a little bit gray. Something like that. We can have a border radius. I like that. And the button, we can style it. Change the color, change the radius, maybe three. We can have a padding but it's fine with me like this. Advanced, and we can have all the same things we see at every element. I want this to be in the middle, so maybe I can say something like uh, in percentage, right 30, left 30, 
or maybe here. 30, I think that's better. Bring this back to zero. Uncheck this, top zero, or maybe two, and bottom two. Save it. Let's fix this. So I click over here. I go to content, item one, should be 100. And the fourth item should also be 100. And now I want the button also to be in the middle. Submit button in the middle. And what we can do, we go to this icon of the section. So we go to the section settings, style, background, have an image. We take this one, South Africa. I go to the layout, stretch the section, full width. I go to style, go to the background overlay color. Choose something like that. I go one more time to the form too advanced and here I say 10% or 7% and 7%. Save it, refresh, now it looks like that. It's not totally in the middle, how can we fix that? Say 35, 35, save it, refresh and that's better. I want the background to be fixed, so I go over here, go to style, attachment, fixed, save it, refresh, and that's how you can create this. I don't like the padding over here, so I go back to this place, advanced, margin, unlock, and the bottom I say, save it, and refresh, that's it. I want to copy the title, duplicate it, drag it down, change the text, form element, change the color to white. And that's how it works with the form element. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please like this video, subscribe if you want to have more videos, and then I will see you next time. I wish you the best. Bye-bye.